So hello, hello, secret code name Unicorn Alchemy, and welcome back to Grace Nicole Myths Astrology and Tarot for your new moon in Sagittarius bullseye reading. You have resonated to the secret code name. Um, know that there is most likely a message in here for you on your specific journey. If you would ever like your own personal secret code name that you know is yours, um, the description has a direct link in order to do that. All right, so that you can book yourself one. I'm using my patch tarot today. Any major arcana that come out, I'm going to be reading it from the book for you because these um, the patch tarot is a very unique tarot. It has unique cards with a couple unique meanings. Okay, and it helps explain them for you. I highly suggest and recommend that if you didn't already, that you watch the new moon eclipse and Sagittarius energies video that I posted earlier tonight um, so that you can better understand in full detail the actual power of this new moon eclipse and what it's bringing in so that you can utilize it, right? So that you can utilize it in your highest good and understand what it's bringing, right? What it's bringing as far as blessings and challenges. So... For those of you new to me in the channel too, just be aware, I have no filter. I do not sugarcoat my messages. Very raw, real reader. Anything can come out of my mouth, okay? That's essentially what it comes down to. Anything can come out of my mouth. Just be aware of that, okay? All right. If this message resonates with you. If you enjoy the message in it, please drop a like and leave some comments. I greatly appreciate your feedback, okay? Unicorn Alchemy. The intention is to help you manifest your highest vision, okay? To hit the target, hit the bullseye, and bringing your highest good vision into the reality. So whatever comes through is to guide you in the highest good in that direction so that you can actually live your dream. All right, that is the point. Unicorn alchemy, spirit please. What guidance would come through for secret code name Unicorn Alchemy and those who would resonate and be guided to its message? What is it? What is the guidance to help them manifest their highest good? The Prince of Discs. Being pragmatic intuition with the priestess and the ace of cups and the ace of cups the seven of wands courage is on the bottom eight of wands shift is on the top all right the Prince of Discs, pragmatic, it's about taking the time to think of the most effective and efficient solution to something. Like one, the easiest way to sow the seeds in the field isn't by hand. The easiest way to sow the seeds in the field might be with an ox attached to a cart that runs along the field. It might also be realistic to say that the ox ain't going to do it on its own and that you sitting in the field ain't going to get it done. The ox ain't going to do it for you. It's just going to make your job easier. But you still got to do it. <laughs> right? You still got to do it. There's this energy of cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms in springtime when we sow things. The Prince of Discs. Is about being practical and realistic with the reality. that your expectations do not exceed 
the limits of the reality. And that knowing when you work within the limits of the reality, you can achieve things beyond your expectations of the reality. Like if you wanna change the world, there's a pragmatic step-by-step -step way to do that. No different than if you want to have a beautiful harvest at the end of the summer, going into the fall, you have to take each step, you have to plant all the seeds in effective time. You've gotta be able to nurture them and take care of them, make sure they've got water, make sure they're not burning out, make sure they have what they need, you know, as far as fertilizers or whatever, like you've gotta be on it. You've got to take each step. You've got to be able to transform. You've got to be able to bloom. You've got to understand the beauty of cycle, the beauty of the journey. The magic that you can create when you take each step. That the magic in taking each step is your divine protection that you would guarantee yourself the result you set to achieve by taking each step. The result you set to achieve your highest good vision, that you could take each step. This is also an indication that it's your spring it, even if it's winter, it's your spring, your personal spring. This is your coming out of the dark energy, coming out of the winter dormancy energy. This is where you can kick it into high gear and get motivated because the season finally shifted. listening to your intuition, right? Let me read the priestess for you. The priestess represents the hidden and subconscious aspects of life, the other side of the coin from the wizard, the sacred feminine, and the gateway to deeper understanding she invites us to observe and contemplate the underlying motivations behind our experience. These stimuli become evident once we pay attention to our intuition, our dreams, and the symbolism that presents itself to us as we go about our lives. This is the veil between the seen and unseen worlds, a key to the mysteries of the universe. When you encounter the priestess in a reading, you are called to take a second look at your current position. There may be some vital information that is being overlooked. Instead of looking at objective facts and statistics, pay attention to the subtle intuitive signals that your body and heart send your way. There is untold wisdom to be gained when you take the plunge to consciously feel your subjective experience and bring it to the surface. Each step that you take Each step that you take, allow it to be something you're guided to. There's always logic and reason. There's always statistics and facts and numbers. The acceptable way of doing things. And they're always in consideration. but it doesn't mean it's the only way. Like, let's just say someone says to you, well, if you're a business and you wanna jumpstart your business and be successful, then you should get a loan and you should, you know, start with that capital to build your business, pay for advertising, you know, go through this X, Y, Z, and, and you'll, it'll take you one or two years to turn a profit, but it'll work. This is the way to success. 
and you're sitting here like, okay, that makes sense. Having capital to have everything that I need right now and putting out money for advertising and getting my work out there, right? Your business out there. That's one way. But what if I don't feel guided to take a loan? What if I can't? What if I don't have the capital saved up? What if I don't have any investors? What if I only have an extra $20 paycheck to paycheck, maybe, to invest a little here and invest a little there? And your gut says that's okay. Maybe you don't want a loan. Maybe the speed of it all booming out of nowhere you're not ready for. Maybe doing it a little bit at a time and building on it a little bit at a time benefits you the most. Maybe someone told you that it was a great idea to put the ox on a cart and let it pull all the seeds across the fields. But maybe that's not the best way for you. Maybe planting one seed at a time and spacing them correctly, you might achieve better results with the invested patience in the beginning. Yeah, it might take you a couple days to actually plant all the seeds, but no seed's gonna be right on top of the other, no seed's gonna be wasted. You might have more capable trees as opposed to dealing with ones that failed or were too close together and competing for nutrition and never really made it to fruit. Maybe your way is not the way everybody is telling you to do it. Maybe your way is not the way that's statistically proven to be better. But that doesn't mean it's not going to work. You listen to your gut, you listen to your intuition, you don't doubt yourself. Because if you doubt yourself, you'll regress. The Ace of Cups is about your ability to overflow and having compassion for yourself. Maybe too much too fast would be overwhelming. Maybe you got to ease into it. Learn more. Let it build slowly. Let things come about as you're able. Not put yourself in debt or in the hole. Maybe you don't want to suffer feeling the weight of debt and the pressure of billing dates. And so doing it your way works for you. It's compassion for you. Doing it your way has compassion for you. You're not stressed out. You're not in debt. You know what I mean? literally or metaphorically speaking. You can listen to your intuition and not doubt yourself and have compassion for yourself and do things pragmatically in accordance with how it best serves you and the result. Because if you run the ox across the field and you spread your seeds and half of them fail and, and don't work out, well then you just wasted the time you saved. Hell, you waste a lot more time than that nurturing trees that would never make it nurturing fruits that would never come because the foundation wasn't laid right the seeds weren't laid right trust yourself whatever you're building towards secret code name unicorn alchemy unicorns are one of a time one of a kind they're magic they're healing they're a myth But you're a unicorn, a magical myth of a healer. Nobody thinks you exist. And your alchemy, your specific process, pragmatism, right? Your specific process, alchemy turns lead to gold. Takes things that are seemingly valueless, ridiculous, a waste of time, 
and turn it into gold. Someone might tell you, oh, don't go mining for lead. Fuck lead. It's not worth anything. It'll make you sick. You keep going for lead, you're gonna get sick. But lead is what's plentiful. And if you take the right steps, you can turn it into gold and you won't get sick. And you'll have a plethora of fucking gold. A plethora of gold. An unreal amount of gold. Compared to the person who's like, just go look for the gold mines that are completely barren and empty and hard to find any gold in because, you know, everybody else does it that way. Everybody already ravaged the gold mines. So you're going where no one else goes, doing what no one else does, and creating what no one else creates because you're a fucking unicorn alchemist. You are unique. The world doesn't believe that you exist or that your methods will work. But that's the beauty of being the unicorn alchemist. You show them, you teach them something different. Do things your way. Do things your way. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust your ability to receive that all of your efforts, all of your guided from within intuitive efforts are going to reap you an overflow of reward. So not only is your cup full, but you're overflowing to other cups who could use some filling and you've got plenty extra so you don't mind at all. Your cup's overflowing with so much you don't even know what to do with it all, so you give it away. You've got so much gold, so much harvest, that you couldn't even possibly utilize it all in this life. You've created so much love that you could just give it away. And that's a beautiful thing. So work your magic, Unicorn Alchemy. Work your magic. Do what you do. Do what you do the way you feel guided to do it. Because that's how you're going to best serve everybody in your world or the greater world. You might just be the seed getting planted in the minds and hearts of everyone. Amen to that. So I hope this message has helped you and that you have received it with the highest intention that I've given it. So that you can manifest your highest good vision. Trust yourself. You got this. You got this. Trust yourself. If it resonates, like I said, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. My love and support is with you always. Till next time, guys, this is Grace Nicole Myth signing out. Remember always to love each other and most importantly, love yourself. Bye, everyone.